I'm just ready for it. I'm just ready for it. Again, just looking back a year from now, how different my life is than what it was a year ago. I wanted to let you guys know that I have... Coffee nut syrup. All right, four ninety five. Come on down. Thank you. Straw too. Thank you. You too. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Happy today is Monday. Happy Monday, February 22nd. I am obviously just leaving Starbucks. I had to drop the kids off at school today. So I figured I would treat myself and get a little Starbucks. I got a, you guys heard me, I got a nitro cold brew with sweet cream, which has been my drink of choice. And then I add in two pumps, well, three pumps of toffee nut syrup, which is my favorite syrup. If you guys have been watching me, you've seen that too. So that is my drink of choice this morning. It's been my drink of choice for the last couple of weeks. But um, yeah, getting ready to start this week off right. Y'all, I have two more full weeks of work and then one half week of work before I am on vacation and I will be vacationing in sunny Mexico. So I'm very excited to get this week and next week over with. I'm gonna work my butt off to get as much work done as possible so I don't get to Mexico and be like, mm, there's so many things I should have done before I left. So there's a lot of filming I need to do. Of course, there's a lot of work work like my real job um, <clears throat> that I need to do and there's just so much to do over the next two and a half weeks. It's crazy. On top of shopping for some new vacation clothes because I need some new vacation clothes. So I'm definitely going to do like a little Fashion Nova shop or something like that because I definitely need some new like vacation dresses and stuff like that. So I need to find like some good boutiques and things to order from. Hmm. That is so good and I needed me a good jolt of caffeine. So I'm going to head home and I'm going to get started working. It's about nine o'clock and it's time to get to work. I have lots to do, like I just said this week. So let's start this week off right. I hope you guys are gonna have a productive week. Whenever you are watching this, I have some big news too that I wanna share with you. Um, which I'll share with you later. I don't want to share with you while I'm in the car. I have some big news to share with you guys. So just make sure you stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, what's up? We are back home. It is 11.30 in the morning and I've just been doing some work this morning, getting some things together. I'm actually watching me an episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta while I work and um, um, just like gathering some things. I do have a meeting at one that I have to uh, do a round table with some of my, my functional groups just to get some training, um, I, I guess some training ideas that they would like us to do in 2021 as a human resources team. So uh, one of the things that my company is focusing on this year is training and development as well as employee engagement. 
um, 2020 was like absolutely nuts. It was nuts for my company. It was nuts for the world as a whole. And so making sure that employees are really locked in and engaged and wanting to be here and we're making it so that they want to be here is one of our focuses for 2021. So I am actually, um, I guess spearheading that effort and I am going around to all of my different functional groups and the leaders in those groups and asking what type of gaps do they have within their personal organization and what type of things that would they like us to do what type of things would they like to see come out of the human resources group and all of that so that is what I'm focusing on today I also have an interview to conduct so I need to do that as well um, so I need to take this hat off and look a little presentable because <laughs> I'll be on Zoom camera in about an hour and a half. So um, focusing on that today as well as just doing some more administrative things for work. So um, yeah, that's really it. Like I said, I do have an announcement that I will share with you guys very, very, very soon. But it's just a just a typical Monday. I just need to do some things before I like I want some uninterrupted time to sit down and talk to you guys. So I just need to get some things done. I'm also trying to plan out my week, which I normally do on Sundays. But uh, yesterday was just kind of hectic. Mark and I went out and did a photo shoot for said project that I will let you guys know about in a minute. And so it was just a really hectic day. We also had a little day date, went out to dinner and stuff. So I need to plan out my week just to make sure that I have everything set, making sure that um, I know what days I'm going to film, what days I'm going to edit, because when I'm like off kilter for the week, when I don't start my week off right, it just doesn't go like it should. And I hate that. So working on that i did my journaling i've been using the six minute diary that i got from amazon everybody talks about the what is it the five minute the five second journal the five minute journal whatever it is i've been using the six minute diary and this has been my jam i've been absolutely loving this journal i don't journal every single day probably more so like every other day and it really helps give me some clarity and perspective on the day at the beginning of the day when I journal and then so you do three minutes at the beginning of the day then you do three minutes at the end of the day so it just breaks it up and makes it a lot easier to digest and a lot easier to do so I love that about that journal I will make sure it's linked down below for those of you who are interested but uh, I'll show it to you in a minute too I, I gotta get um, this thing done real quick and then I'll come back and talk to y'all all right so real quick let me show y'all my lunch I just have a nice big large salad with butter lettuce chicken cheese strawberries and some raisins i love my big salads like this y'all and then i am going to drink this entire thing of water for lunch this is my second time filling this up today and this is my water bottle i've already told you guys about this um the coldest water love this water bottle so much i can't stress it enough keeps my water cold for so long like 36 hours and I absolutely absolutely love it i take it with me when i go work out and everything it has this handy dandy little handle that i can hold it like this and i can also put my mask on here as well so my mask isn't like all over the gym when i'm at the gym love this water bottle and this is like really all i've been using So I've been working all day, just got off my first little meeting round table or whatever, and it went well, it went really well. So I'm happy about that. I have a lot of stuff to report around training and development, but I wanted to tell you guys what I had to tell you. I wanted some uninterrupted time. If you hear something, y'all, it's this. I'll link it down below also, but it's this thing I got from Amazon. It is a foot warmer and massager so it goes under your desk you put your feet in it you hear it it's actually like massaging my feet and it has a little heater in it my feet are always cold so this was like the perfect thing for under my desk it feels so good but anyway I wanted to let you guys know that I have an ebook coming out 
I'm so excited. The release date is April 1st. I have an ebook coming out and it is all about black women in the corporate workforce and just some of the barriers that we face and how to get over those barriers. So I'm very excited. It is actually a virtual ebook. So you will get it in the form of videos. I'm, I'm so excited about that. I feel like a lot of people, um, don't read anymore or don't have the time to read you guys know i'm such an avid reader i thought this would be a great format for just for people who don't have the time to read or who might want to listen to it in the car or on the go or something like that so um i'm just so excited about it i've been working very hard on it mark and myself like the content is me but mark has put a lot of work into it like the behind the scenes stuff and setting everything up and the videography and stuff like that so um so excited so hopefully you guys will support and you guys will love it already working on part two of it as well so it is available april 1st it will be available april 1st i can't believe i'm saying this out loud never thought i would do anything like this but i just saw a need in the market so here i am so hopefully um that's something that you guys are excited about also i will be offering career consultations so um i get a lot of questions about resume writing about just career pathing and things like that I'll be offering career consultations also starting April 1st so you guys will hear so much more about both of these ventures as we get closer and how to sign up for those and all of that hopefully again this is something that you guys are interested in and I'm just really excited about this new business venture and I'm already working on things after this. Like we're working on the launch, but I'm already working on things after this. So I'm finally able to tell you guys, we did a little photo shoot yesterday for the cover of the ebook and um we just had a lot of fun doing that together like mark and myself make a really great team he's so supportive and so helpful and i'm just i'm so grateful to have him in my life and on my in my corner and i'm so grateful to have you guys and all of your love and all of your support there were a few of you over the last like month that's been like girl you got a book coming out don't you, you got a book coming out don't you i would love to write a traditional book one day but i just felt like for this, the format, I like the digital, the virtual format. You guys will have to tell me what you think about it, if you think it's a good idea. Love the digital format version though, because one, I just feel like being on camera is kind of my thing. Obviously, it's something that I've been doing for years via YouTube, so being on camera is kind of my thing. But then on top of that, um, just the convenience of it and how you'll be able to access it, I think it'll be able to reach a broader audience. So that's what I had to tell you guys. Hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. And I'm just, I'm ready to hit the ground running. Definitely ready to hit the ground running. This year is going to be so good. I have so many good things just happening this year. And definitely tell a friend. If you know someone who can use either a career consultation or if you know someone who can who can use the ebook, tell a friend, share it. And I would just love your support. So wanted to say that but um for the rest of the day i am just working it's what time is it 2 15 i have an interview to do at 4 30 then i have to go with the kids i have to come home cook you know all that good stuff mark and i have our brand meeting tonight so basically every week we do what we call a brand meeting it's really kind of an all-encompassing meeting so we do a brand meeting where we talk about the vlog channel and like what videos are coming up what we need to film what needs to be edited what days videos are going live then we also talk about this channel we're talking about the book the consultations and just doing like breaking up our our big tasks into bite-sized pieces that is definitely something that i would recommend if you are looking to do something huge but you don't know where to get started break it up into small tasks so writing a book is a huge task that's something that you can't take on all at once but breaking it down into different bite-sized pieces has really been super helpful and helping us getting things done so that is what we will be working on tonight and then i don't know what i'm going to cook for dinner but i need to find something to cook for dinner as well for everyone and that's that Whew, all right y'all so i'm headed out right now i actually just got a call what is that oh i actually just got a call from my daughter's school 
and they said that my youngest is not feeling well. She said her stomach hurts. They said she doesn't have a fever, so they were gonna keep her at aftercare, and I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna come and get my baby, so oh, I gotta run and get this. Well, both of these kids, I'm just gonna go grab them. They were supposed to be at, oh, shoot, slippery out here. They were supposed to be um, at aftercare today for the next couple of hours because I do have a 4.30 meeting. It's like three o'clock, but I'm just gonna go, go get them right now and then I'll bring them back home and I'll do my meeting and everything. These are what happens during the day, like the life and times of a working mom during COVID, you know what I mean? I guess this is during any time because if I was at the office, I don't know, if I was at the office, she said she's fine. She just said her stomach hurts a little bit. If I was at the office, I would have probably stayed at the office um, and just let her ride it out because she's not dying, the lady said. But since I'm only around the corner, since I'm at home, I'm going to go get her. No need for her to stay in school if she doesn't, or at aftercare if she doesn't have to. So I'm just going to run and get them. But I feel like work and life has definitely collided since COVID happened. Like even when I'm at home, like I'm working from home now pretty much full time and it's really hard because the lines get so blurred when it comes to stuff like housework or even like my YouTube life, the lines get so blurred. Like before I wasn't filming while I was at work. I mean, I would vlog sometimes for you guys, but for the most part, I wasn't like filming during the day. Now, I'll take my lunch break and I'll film some videos just to get some things done uh, or try to put some laundry in the washer or the dryer. You know, I'll do little things like that to kind of minimize the stuff I have to do after work. And I feel like the lines are just getting blurred. Like I'm working a full-time job, but also working at home and keeping my household running full time. Whereas before, when I'm in the office, like I'm not worried about what laundry has to be done. Well, I might be worried about it, but ain't nothing I can do about it. You know, I'm not sticking laundry in the washing machine or trying to throw a load in the dishwasher. I'm not doing any of that during the day because I'm in the office. So lines are so blurry right now and I, it's almost more overwhelming than having that separate life. Like before you had your office life, you had your after work life and then that you know they stayed separate but now everything is kind of blurry like even for work stuff I'm working at night sometimes because of obligations that I have to get done during the day like getting the kids off the bus which that wasn't an issue before so there's just a lot of stuff not to mention I went into COVID or I should say pre-COVID I also had one less child and then COVID happened we started working from home and now not only do I have another child who's a small baby who I have to do everything for but then on top of that I added another school-age child um, during COVID so so much happened <laughs> throughout the last year it's like it just blows my mind i feel like the beginning of 2020 was lifetimes ago you know i just i feel like february 2020 was forever ago honestly it, it feels like three years ago versus just a year ago and even when things like like i was thinking about this morning i was kind of just like looking around my house and i was like February 22nd, 2020, I had no idea about a lot of things that are going on in my life right now. I had no, no freaking clue that we'd be selling our house and I'd be in another house the next February. No freaking clue that wasn't even a thought in my mind that that would be happening had no idea that we'd be on reality TV at that point in time in February. I had no idea and that just happened a few short months later. So I had like honestly I had no idea that I'd be writing a book or doing career consulting and trying to like start other avenues you know getting other streams of income like this. I had no idea where life was going to take me in just 365 short days. You know what I mean? Less than that because a lot of the stuff I just named happened months later. So 
the like the shit is just all crazy what's going on there the shit is just all crazy and i'm saying that to kind of say you don't know where life is gonna take you you have no idea where you will be hell a week from now a month from now a year from now you have no idea so always put your best work out there and put your best foot forward because you can hear 30 no's and then you get that one yes and your life changes in an instant and i want you guys to really know that and hear me on that because things change so rapidly like when you look at your life and someone asks you the question where do i want to be in 10 years you can say that but you could be there in two years or five years, depending on the opportunities that come your way and the position that you put yourself in and the work that you put in. Like never sell yourself short. And I, I keep having these conversations with you guys because they just keep being on my heart because I keep thinking about about selling myself short. Like even now, like I, I say this stuff out loud to y'all, but it's mostly for me. Like I'm saying this stuff so I can say it and know that and believe it because I still have issues with that sometimes. And I'm like, man, you're 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 embarking on these new things you want to write this book I, i've been waiting to tell y'all that forever like <laughs> i have been i've been working on it for about two months now and i have been wanting to tell you guys that forever by the way but anyway you're like you're you're, you're writing this book you know what i'm saying what if okay so you know the first couple months i at least want to sell like 50 copies why am i just saying i want to sell 50 copies i want to sell hundreds and hundreds or thousands and thousands thousands of copies like that's what I told myself when I first said I was gonna write a book I was like you know what if I can sell 50 copies I'll be happy why would I be happy with 50 copies when I could I have the potential to sell hundreds and thousands on that you know what I mean like we just we uh, I want to be in that mindset where abundance is always on my mind I can do this I can do whatever it is I put my mind to I can do it and I'm hoping I'm preaching to y'all and y'all catching it too and we gonna all catch it together and encourage each other if you have a business idea or a business venture that you've been waiting on that you just been like man it's not the right time when am I gonna have time to do do it you know what rip the band-aid off and do it rip the band-aid off and do it okay promise me that you'll do that because i want to see us all win i want to see us all move forward and i want us all to realize our dreams this year because there may not be a next year hell the way this world go <laughs> may not be a next year may not be a next week so um just realize your dreams and work towards them and you know what even if you don't achieve your exact dream maybe you will find something that you didn't even realize that you didn't even realize you liked or that you didn't even want and realize that you want to do and your dreams and plans change and pivot that happens too it happens to people all the time where they think they want something they get it and they're like oh that's not really what i want but this other thing that i kind of discovered while i was in process of trying to get this one dream that i kind of like and that i can get with and that happens all the time so just because be flexible just because you're your one dream, you had a plan that one dream happened make sure you're flexible and you're realizing other opportunities and seeing other opportunities that might come your way i'm always open to what to what the lord has to bring me and I'm just ready for it. I'm just ready for it. Again, just looking back a year from now, how different my life is than what it was a year ago. I like, and it's not even, well, it's definitely better. I can definitely say it's better. Just my mindset and I added my little baby <laughs> and my I love my house. So it's definitely better, but I think more so I'm looking at it like it's so different. And your life could be, it could be different better. It could be different worse. It could be different laterally, but it could just be, it's just different from what I thought it would be. If you would asked me where I was or where I would be, 365 days ago I totally wouldn't have set a different house I'd have been like uh sitting in this same house I knew I was having a baby so I'd have been like sitting in this same house with a baby probably still doing 
probably still doing YouTube and you know still working I didn't even realize I was going to get a promotion which I got last month so I didn't even realize that so uh, that's what I would have said in this house working you know with my same job probably still doing YouTube blah 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 that's what I would have seen for myself not in the process of writing a book um, got promoted to my job in a new house like all this other stuff and all these other opportunities that then came my way I didn't see none of that and I'm enjoying the ride y'all I really really am I am back home we took a quick trip to a quick little detour to Aldi before I came back home and I just want to give you guys a little little tiny grocery haul with some of the stuff I got I think I'm gonna make some chicken pasta tonight so let me show you guys what I got so I picked up some chicken I just got like some little chicken breast tenderloin and then I also just picked up a little pack of chicken breast as well. I got some spinach to go in the pasta. Some, oh, I shouldn't have gotten this, but I got two little pieces of cheesecake, cheesecake for me and the kids to split probably later. I grabbed some heavy whipping cream again for the pasta. Um, two things of two canisters of these crescent rolls so I'm gonna cook those also for the family and some Parmesan cheese and then also just some some gum some extra gum I love going to Aldi to shop because my bill is always super cheap like I got that stuff for $18 so bill is always pretty inexpensive at Aldi like I don't have to worry about spending a gang of money when I go there I feel like every time I go to my other grocery store I'm out of there with no less than spending a hundred dollars and it's like what did I even buy like half the time I don't even know what I even bought you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I have an interview to conduct in about 30 minutes so I'm gonna get myself prepared for that and then I think the work day will be over the last kid from my mom's house and now it's dinner time so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making for dinner it's gonna be a pasta I'm going to have a pasta it's gonna have some tomatoes some spinach some broccoli um, chicken and I think I'm gonna use this corkscrew pasta I have in here is that this no this is the penne I could use the penne pasta I'll show you in a minute but I thought I had some corkscrew pasta but I guess I'm wrong I swear I had a box of corkscrew pasta this boy trying to close his door on me mister what are you doing what are you doing you better get out of here all right, I swear I had some corkscrew pasta. What are you doing? Ooh, you walking to mama. Look at that, that was a few steps there, pumpkin. He learning how to walk, y'all. He'll probably be walking by this weekend, honestly. We probably got a few more days. Oh my God, give me this. We probably got a few more days and then it's going to be problems. I can see it already. I thought I had some corkscrew pasta, but I guess I don't. Here he go again. I guess I don't. MJ. 
Move it. Yeah, I guess I don't. So we'll just use this penne pasta. This will be good too. I mean, pasta is pasta at this point. So we'll just use this guy right here. Now you can close it. Close it. Close it. Yeah. But this is all the ingredients for the pasta. I have some broccoli, some chicken, some spinach, tomatoes. I see him. He about to take off. Some cream cheese, butter, more chicken, and there are some rolls here that I showed you guys earlier, and then some Parmesan cheese and some heavy cream over there. Oh, my MJ! Go, man! Go, man! Oh, that's my baby! That's my baby! Yay! Why is this so funny? 